Hi everyone, I'm Dr. David Wackenfeld and I'm the Chief Scientist at the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority. I'm here to give you another update on the condition of the Great Barrier Reef. At the moment, the satellites are telling us that the waters of the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park are mostly slightly below average for this time of year, which is great. And as we look forward, uh, the forecasts from the Bureau of Meteorology are telling us that over the next three months or so, the waters of the Great Barrier Reef will mostly be about average, maybe a little bit cooler in the north and a little bit warmer in the south, but really not much of a deviation from the average. Of course, in these winter months, it's uh, not possible to give robust forecasts for the summer, which is the peak time of stress for the reef. So we will be making those forecasts later in this year and we'll bring those to you as we have them. So being the winter months on the Great Barrier Reef, the waters have cooled down substantially and that means that this is whale season. Our Eye on the Reef sightings program has already had reports of minke whales at Opal Reef and Flynn Reef and also at the Ribbon Reefs. And we've got reports of the first humpback whales offshore from Cairn. So really encourage people to get on the Eye on the Reef sightings app and help us out with information about what's going on out there in the marine park. Now the whale migration is a very exciting time of year. It's a real natural spectacle. It's very exciting to see a whale out there in the marine park. But both for the safety of visitors and also for the welfare of the whales themselves, please follow the rules if you do encounter a whale. Anywhere out in the marine park, don't get closer than 100 metres in a vessel. And in the Whitsunday whale protection area, that distance is 300 metres. So don't get closer than that. It's really important. Just lastly in this update, a quick update on our Crown of Thorns Starfish Control Program. So we currently have six vessels in the control fleet and over the last month or so, those vessels have controlled Crown of Thorns Starfish on 24 different reefs. Looking at the numbers, we've seen that 10 of those reefs do still have active outbreaks and we're working very hard on those reefs to bring the number of Crown of Thorns Starfish down and 14 of those reefs are now already at a density of crown of thorns where the number is below the sustainability threshold. So we know that we're successfully protecting the coral on those reefs. So that's our wrap up for June. And of course, we'll bring you more information on the condition of the Great Barrier Reef next month.